Okay. This rant is going to be about the worst show on Cartoon Network ever. Called Out of Jimmy's Head. Based on the movie, a Cartoon Network original. Reanimated. First about reanimated, I, 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 it sucks, but it's not as bad as Out of Jimmy's Head. But it seems like they're trying to make a copy of like the Disney characters or something. They're kind of they're trying to make fun of that and put in and put um a guy named J Jimmy who gets I forget how he gets well it happens to his brain. It apparently happens in a place called Golly World, but he has to get like a brain transplant or something, and he starts seeing all these cartoons like what. It's like a gopher guy, and a crocodile piece of shit, and a penguin. Well, this show, let's, uh, okay, I'm on Wikipedia on Out of Jimmy's Head, and I'm gonna show you this stuff. Okay. Um, it only had 20 episodes in two seasons. I'm not joking. And it only premiered for less than a year. Let's see what it says on here. Cartoon Network, okay, this is from Wikipedia, what I'm reading. It says, Cartoon Network ordered a first season of the show. We have 13 episodes on September 2007. The channel later ordered a second series, which started on March 2008, a week after the first season was completed. The show went on a brief hiatus during the 2007 Writers Guild of America strike. But within, but why, why, well, the first season holds 13 episodes. The second season only has seven episodes. The season was canceled after all 20 episodes aired. Now, I don't know if it was because they sucked or not. But I'm, I'm happy. I like started. I got really happy once the show was canceled. Like, does Cartoon Network think we we would like the show instead of the Looney Tunes, which is a lot better? Um. Well, here are here here's my main complaint of the show. It's not a cartoon, and it's being put on Cartoon Network. Okay, it isn't called Cartoon Network for nothing. I'm going, oh, let's change the pace of this a bit. Let's put on um, a live action show. At least they should have Jimmy animated and have Imaginary Cartoon Friends. What, and what the hell is the point of Foster Home for Imaginary Friends, which was very similar? No, like, um, another complaint I got about the show is it just seems like the stuff that should be on the Disney Channel, like... It's about the modern teenager's life coming from some weird loser guy. Like, he hangs out with his friends. Um, some guy named Craig that's an afro. I have hardly watched this show. I only watched, like, two or three episodes of this. And I, then I stopped watching it because it sucked. Very badly. Now, um, let's see. One of the episodes... Okay, yeah, this is on Wikipedia on the episode list. Okay, this is just weird. Okay, it says there's another so called bully. That a bully with a secret lair targets Jimmy and tries to steal Robin, which is, I think, one of his friends. Okay, that's just weird. Uh, why would a bully have a lair? Um, <laughs> this, is, this, this just looks weird. Episode 12 Cartoons Drive. Jimmy helps Robin with her campaign for school president, but. When she refuses to use the plan to save the old school parking lot tree. Oh, so they're trying to save a tree in a parking lot. He decides to run against her. Oh, crap. And meanwhile, Golly, Dolly, which I, I think I think they're the gopher. Those gopher guys. Croco, Croco and Tux accidentally release Jimmy's most embarrassing memories inside his brain. Apologize for all the strange voices. Um... Um, oh, this episode looks weird. Soda. A reporter from the school newspaper gives a story, does a story on Jimmy, but she's secretly investigating Craig and his bootleg soda operation. Oh, so he's selling fake soda. That's weird. Elsewhere, um, okay. Here, I'll find a few more episodes now. I think I might have watched, um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen this one. The dis okay, it says, uh, like... Okay, now keep in mind I'm reading the descriptions from Wikipedia. Since I forget these episodes because I don't have good memory. But I remember when I watched this one. Like, one of the ones I watched whenever I was bored and didn't, didn't know how, show, how bad the show sucked. It said, Jimmy falls in that clique that believes in staying in touch with one's inner child. Meanwhile, Craig, he's the friend of the Afro, helps Yahtzee babysit on the tunes and meet Tux's nephews. It's like, the, the oh, real characters are doing something, now the cartoon char characters are doing something. Okay. Uh, Oh, yeah, Blake from Fry Dynamite guest stars in this episode. If I was there, I would go punch Blake's head and punch Jimmy's head. Because they're both weird loser people. But all the show is like about is acting popular and crap like that. <sighs> Out of freaking Jimmy's head. It's pr pr pretty much one of the most terrible episodes. On Cartoon Network. Huh. Ha, no, no, I am not done yet. There's still just a little bit more I gotta say. This show has to be on the Disney Channel instead of the regular station. Wait, this is my, this is what I'm giving to out, to out of Jimmy's head. You like that little symbol? Good. Um, okay, here's another episode. It says, it says, Jimmy and Craig make an alien invasion movie. Okay, it's about weird, geeky people who act like, who do a bunch of random shit. He, okay, so, so they make an alien invasion movie. Trick Yancey, the starring in the movie, is the main role. But the plan backfires when her alien ex-boyfriend wants to star. And okay, that's where, like, oh, we're making an alien movie. And then alien comes down. I think we've seen stuff like, like this before. I, I I don't know, but it just seems kind of famil, fam, familiar. Like it's like they're doing so, something about something that's that is supposed to not exist, and the thing cut comes down. Kind of like on an kind of like on Ed and Eddie about the alien episode. Yeah, I'm a big Ed, Ed and Eddie fan. Um, whenever they thought that the cul-de-sac was in danger. It was actually rules for relatives that made the stench. Then there were aliens at the end dragging the cul-de-sac into space. And now, um, let me see. Um, something called, um... Oh, if you hear weird voices, it's just my, um... It's just my brother talking. Oh, look at this. It says, sick day. Jimmy and Robin skip school to ride a roller coaster. And a robotic version of Jimmy's created. Okay, that's weird. But we've seen this on, a, on, on other cartoons whenever people try to skip school. It's like the apparently modern t teenage life is them acting all weird. And why do they have to use the name Jimmy whenever it's so generic? Now, to, to everyone named Jimmy here, I'm not offending you. I, I'm just saying in, in a cartoon, why do they have to use that name? Why don't they use like some other name? In a, a, a before. If anyone's named Jimmy, it takes off fins. It's just my opinion, because Jimmy is a common name. Um, but how I'm gonna wrap this up is um, let's see. Here, here, here are my final thoughts. This is show is a huge mistake to put on Cartoon Network. It ruined its entire program, and it should be put on something like the Disney Channel, where it would make sense with all those other stuff on the Disney Channel. Now, I stopped watching Cartoon Network a while back. Never all these shitty new cartoons came out. But this I remember watching, and it sucked badly. The, and the Disney Channel sucks also, but those are my final words. I say screw out of Jimmy's head.